Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. And today we're in Matthew chapter 7, verses 15 to 20, the Sermon on the Mount, where Jesus said these words. Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. By their fruit you will recognise them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Likewise, every good tree bears good fruit and every bad tree bears bad fruit. Good trees cannot bear bad fruit and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus, by their fruit, you will recognise them. Oh, spicy words from Jesus here. But Jesus is saying to disciples, you need to watch out for false prophets. Now, we know from the witness and the testimony of the Old Testament, the New Testament and the history of the church that there is such a thing as a false prophet. A person who is peddling a gospel other than that of Christ, Jesus, somebody who's out for themselves, who has a motive that is beyond the pursuit of the kingdom of, of God uh, and is geared towards self. their self-aggrandizement or power or influence or success or insecurity. And actually they've been driven by something other than the Holy Spirit within them. We need to watch out for those people. Now, that's not to say that everyone who ever sins must uh, be written off as a false prophet because we're all sinful uh, and we all fall short of the glory of God but thanks be to God we, we have a God of grace and, and through Jesus we're, we're redeemed and so it's not about that but it is about sometimes more sinister things going on in the hearts of leaders and preachers and teachers and so on people of influence in our lives we need to watch out that they're not actually wolves out to devour us out to consume us that they, they, they view us as meat or units in the machine of their self-aggrandizement and, uh, and Jesus warns against that because too easily we can be led astray and lose years of our life and, uh, and, and miss out on all those opportunities to build the kingdom because we're building the kingdom of this individual. And we can be led astray and injured and, and eaten by this wolf. So you need to watch out for this. And Jesus says this, this is how you know a false prophet from a good or a true prophet. It's by their fruit. What's the fruit of their lives and their ministry? Are, are, are they virtuous people? Are they people of character? Are they people who are seeking to grow in those things? Um, are they humble? Is there humility in their lives? Do the movement that they're establishing or the ministry that they're exercising, does it smell of life and good news or is it smell of death? Is there something oppressive and controlling about it? Something that's geared towards them rather than towards God? Uh, and uh, what's, what's coming from all this? What is being reaped? Because that'll give you an indicator of what's being sown. Uh, and we need to be attentive to this. Watch out for false prophets. Uh, and this is a challenge for us in our own lives. What fruit are we producing? Are we being true prophets to one another? Uh, and Jesus says, watch out for false prophets. So let's watch out for them.